We're going to continue calculating the net price factor. We have a trade discount of 31, 15, and 5. So our trade discount is as a percent. And remember, we want to change it to a decimal. So we need to move the 31 two places to the left. So that would be 0 0.31 and then 0 0.15 and then 5% would be 0 0.05. So to get the net price factor, you are going to subtract these from 1. So that would be 0 0.69. This would be 0.85. And this would be 0.95. And we're going to multiply those three together to get the net price factor. So 0.69 times 0.85 times 0.95. So here's our net price factor. And we're going to round to the nearest, to the fifth decimal place. So that 7, if you look behind it, makes us, the 5 makes the 7 round up to an 8. So that's your net price factor. To get your single equivalent discount, remember these two complement each other. So you can say 1 minus 0 0.55718 and get your single equivalent discount. To calculate the trade discount, you're going to take this amount and times it by 450 70 to get your discount. So it's the single equivalent discount times the list price. Now, to get your net price, you're going to take your discount that you just calculated. Take your list price of $450.70 and subtract your discount of $199.58. And that's going to give you your net price of $251.12. For the next problem, You're going to calculate the net price. First, we have to find the net price factor. Remember, we're going to take 0 0.45, um, 1 minus 0 0.45, which would be 0 0.55, and 1 minus 0 0.30, which would be 0 0.70 and 1 minus 0 0.05, which would be 0 0.95, and multiply those together. And that's going to give you your net price factor. To get your net, uh, the net price, you're going to take that net price factor and multiply it by the list price. And that's going to give you your net price. For the next one, we're looking at a photographer buys merchandise with a list price of 5000 And if the supplier offers trade discount rates of 20, 15, 5, find the trade discount. Find this single equivalent discount first. So what we need to do is to find the single equivalent discount first we have to find the net price which is 0.8 the net price factor 1 minus 0.20 1 minus 0.15 which would be 0.85 and 1 minus 0.05 which would be 0.95 that's going to give us our net price factor we want the discount 
uh, single disk count. And the way we do that is we say 1 minus this. So 1 minus 0.646 will give you a single equivalent discount of 0.354. Now, to calculate your discount, you can take that, since it wants you to do that first, take that and times it by 5,000. And when you take the discount rate here and multiply it by the list price, it's going to give you the actual discount. So your discount would be 1,770. Let's see. For question 17, this one I'm going to do in a separate video, but it's basically we're going to do the same things that we've been doing as far as getting our net price factor. That will be the first step for each of these. 